We've built up the strength and the stability to take both knees off in the frog stand. And the job now is to start to learn to get that rotation. This requires a little bit of end range strength. Think right back to the beginning when we were doing those bar raises and getting that end range strength through the shoulder flexion, but also the skill and control to be able to put yourself into the right position. And learning that body awareness is so important and getting the hips stacked up on top of the hands to create that stable shape that Jacko talks about when we're trying to find our tuck handstand position. So, the same principles as we've done with the band before that we create the cradle around the hips. Jacko comes down, puts his hands just behind the bar so that the band is actually going to pull him forward. It's so much more important in this exercise that we get that nice little support into that pull position. And then he goes into his frog stand, takes the knees off and don't hang around in that shape. Actually allow the band to pull you through into that tuck handstand. And the really nice thing about the band is if you want to, you can work that eccentric phase. So you saw Jacko did really well and as he pushed back up, he has an opportunity because the band is helping him to really work hard and come back into the frog stand because that's getting us a really nice strength development up in the shoulders, which is gonna help you to control and have a little bit more freedom of movement in that, strong, in that position. The stronger we are in the shoulders, the more control we've got into the shape, the more degrees of freedom you've got and the more corrections you can make. So it's great to develop some robust strength which you can start to play around with as we move through into these more advanced progressions.